Mm. My body is ready, dude. My body is ready, chat. Are you ready, chat? My body is totally ready. Prage indeed, chat. Can we get some can we get some prage for some uh for some soaring blades changes, dude? Can we get a little prage for that? It'd be great. Alright, we can get rid of uh the timer stuff. A bit of prage for some soaring blades, chat. I think it'd be very nice of you. I'm also gonna mute the game, by the way, so you guys don't have to hear that. I'm also going to uh, temporarily mute my alerts. So those will be unmuted afterwards. Please be good. Yeah, Chris, I'm right with you, homie. Well, here it is. Here we go. Also, hello, my YouTube homies, if that's where you guys are watching from. Hello, everyone. It's 9 p.m., so let's get started with NGS headline. Mm. I'm Yui Straight Hasegawa, business. Let's the official go. ambassador for the 10th anniversary of PSO2. I will be acting as the MC for this program in Hiro Arai's absence, bringing you all the latest info on NGS. Let's go! Let's go! This may be my first time meeting many of you, so here's a bit about myself. No, oh, go on. I was an active member of the ARCS Promotion Squad in 2015, and for a year, I was in charge of weekly PSO2 live streams, official programs, events, and even worked as a motion capture actor for emotes. Okay. In other words, I served as a fellow ARCS, sharing my excitement for PSO2 in any way I could. As the official 10th anniversary ambassador, I will do my best to bring even more hype to this year's anniversary. Now, once again, this program is to inform players about the present and future of Sega's online RPG, PSO2 New Genesis, or NGS for short, with info about current operations, future updates, campaigns, and more. Yo, let's go. You know, using his tier two look, dude. <laughs> oh, this no. is a pre recorded two, broadcast. Dude. If you would like to watch it in Japanese, you can check it out on the Japanese NGS YouTube channel. I wonder who they got for translations, Without too. Without further ado, let's move on to the updates you've all been waiting for. Oh, the hot information. Oh, lay the hot information all over me. Let's go. First, I'd like to share some information about the major update coming in June. Hot, chat. Hot information. Please have a look at this video. No, I'm looking. Respectfully. All right. Volume. Adjustment. There you go. Should be good. New region. Okay. 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 New region. Nodders. Face hands. Or hand faces. New gathering items, of course. New trainee weight, of course. For more skill points. New combat sector, as we expected. Okay, okay. Be having and make them oh okay so they're new uh new little dudes to defeat and bring enemies wait what i gotta go back and look at that again apparently those experience adjustments hoverboards okay oh there's boosts Oh, you fight with these too. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, let's get a trial. They'll still give PB, right? Yeah, it gives PB. <laughs> and you got frozen right afterwards. Get fucked. Yeah, the new throw mechanic. Yep. Okay, level 60 is the cap. Okay, Hunter Arts Overcharge. We heard about this. 
basically, if you're charging and you don't have anything to stop you. Uh, Double Saber got an extra attack. Oh, they got another normal, okay. Wide range Blight Round. AoE Blight Round, hello. Stylish Roll Counter Bullet, oh, nice. Oh, fi okay, Foe finally got something that's good. Nice, so Foe got a brand. Wand extra attack, what the, f what is that? You did teleports, excuse me? What, what kind of normal attack is that? A katana PA combo finish, yeah, I heard about this. If you use all three of your katana combos and then normal attack, you have a different normal attack. They just made it a parry. They just made it a parry, okay. You know what? That's what I expected. That's pretty much the bare minimum of what I expected to happen. Looks like a new set of weapons. Uh, I didn't get a chance to look at those augments close enough. We'll have to look at that again. Has been abandoned for many decades now. It was once the seat of the capital. My researcher friend's name is Elma. We need his intelligence. And this is the Pavaris region. I'm Mary. You people know Ilma? Hey, Mary. Oh, we've got guests? That's Kupka. Nice to meet you. Paimon! Do you what block? I'm on uh, block seven. Those go by way too fast to keep an eye on. We have to slow that down. Oh, new urgent quest that includes the hoverboards. Okay. Another suppression, just like, you know, a standard suppression out, basically. A new battle dia. Pretty, pretty standard as well. Wait, what? Oh, it's new yellow. Okay, that was a new yellow. And this is the new purple with the new bosses. Yeah, okay. That's, I expect. Wait, is that a third one? Is there three? Wait, are there are multiple types? Hold on a minute. Or is that just them showing the old ones because they're removing the the experience from them? I think that's what that was. What's this? Oh, the wild, the field race. Okay, so not all of them are hoverboard race, boy, to heal field races. Some of them are just actual like races themselves like movement based field races compete up to against 32 players jesus christ these are massive races no they're doing it on purpose it's going by fast so that way you can't really catch everything on first glance there's a set of quests oh trade-ins alliance badges a new type of badge quest counter that has the story scenes Item trade-ins, X cubes. That said premium on. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Oh, a new face, the imposing face. Oh, individual color changing for cast parts. Holy shit, that looked awesome. I thought it was individual color change, right? Auto sell certain things, rarities up to a certain amount. Cool. Oh, okay, that's dope. Oh, yeah, that's the magnifying thing they talked about. Oh, receive all. Thank God. Uh, the spring special scratch two stuff actually uh, is going to be added in finally to that. Effects now display using weapon camos. Oh, shit. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Thank God. Papa bless. Uh, I don't really care about this scratch that much. I mean, like, it's kind of cool. Type 2 outfits look good. Type 1 outfits kind of look like trash, in my opinion, but I don't really think this is that great of a scratch in the first place. Well, it's not bad on the boots. A trick photo pose. <laughs> Emote makeup, okay. Idle, balance on one leg, that's kind of lame. Lightweight jump to go with the other one, it's whatever. Snow dust glide, eh, also kind of whatever. Snow dust dash, also kind of whatever in my opinion, but that's just me. Okay, cool. The OST, I'm not sure. 
What did you think? Now, let's go into more detail with these slides. All right. Lay on the info First on us. Let's we go. Have this. Okay, this is normal stuff. Nothing too crazy here. Is a frozen tundra covered in snow and ice. Yeah, the launch scratch is kind of meh. as it is deadly. Steep ice capped mountains. But I think it's also just not my style. covered ruins await the arc. So, meh. There are plenty of new gathering items and region mags to look out for. So make sure to check them out. Yeah, snow carrots, the vegetables. There are also trainia throughout Kavaris. In addition to combat-based cocoons centered around boss enemy battles, we'll see cocoons focus on agility more than before. I'm excited okay. to see what new trainia awaits us in this new open field. On the eastern side of Kavaris, you will find the Belogana ruins, a combat sector where all of the buildings oh, are very it was. deep in snow. Higher golden and silver sector, enemy you experience can find and the rare drop rates. Okay, that's what it was. To the robots in the Kavaris camp. This enemy charges at you at first, but after being defeated, they'll fight alongside you as an ally, similar to the Dromes in the Alio region. Additionally, there is a diverse cast of new enemies appearing throughout the Kavaris region. Many enemies specialize in ice attacks, so it would be wise to take precautions against potential status ailments. Up until now, golden and silver rare enemies have had a higher rare drop rate and dropped items like the gold prim sword. Following this update, both EXP and rare drop rate will be buffed by 100% for silver Ooh. enemies and 200% for golden enemies. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, very nice. Next, the Kavaris region will be getting two new gameplay elements. PSC burst about to go wild, floating bro. boards. You can ride these boards by accessing one of the many board terminals located throughout the open field. They're not nerfing these drop rates. They the already photon mentioned that. thrusters to boost your speed while utilizing the photon brakes to get through tight turns will allow you to comfortably explore the frozen wonderland of Kavaris. Okay, okay. Floating Cold photon exhibition trial. Okay. New trials such as frost hmm. zone enemy suppression, where you take out various enemies while on the move, as well as dolls transport heist trial, where you will be taking on dolls transport devices. It's kind of cool. The other relic style weapons again in Kavars. I think they'll do them, the but they're going to do them differently. The throw action. Destroy the crystalline ice scattered throughout Kavaris to pick up crystalline ice shards that could be Yo, I like that throw. Look at the way damage. you're throwing that shit. That's hella anime. In the new cold photon excitation trial, hitting the cold photons that appear in mid-air with crystalline ice shards will trigger a huge explosion. Oh, that's what that heavy is. Heavy damage to all nearby enemies and even bring down boss enemies. Mm -hmm. Okay, not bad. Also, there is a new Kavaris only trial known as the Blizzard Zone Enemy Suppression. Similar to the Storm Zone Enemy Suppression trials found in Retum that trigger tornadoes, the harsh climate of Kavaris will punish all arcs with an icy cold snowstorm. Getting caught by these will freeze you, so be extra careful. With this update, the level cap for all classes will be increased to 60. Hang on a sec. Additionally, it's gonna freeze new for a split class second. skills will be added for each class. All of these new okay, class skills will help to capitalize on the strengths of each class Wait, and make them just... even okay, more enjoyable to play. That froze make me for sure a second. Make sure to test out the these new class skills when taking on new enemies. Wait, what the hell? Get out of there. Next, let's discuss the new six-star rarity weapons available in the Kavaris region. In addition to the Sectal and Evoliclipse series included in the previous broadcast, the Rock series okay. will be making its debut. Got it. 
The three designs shown at the bottom left of this slide are all a part of the Rock series. Okay, interesting. We will also be introducing a wide variety of new augments. Augments triggering <laughs> the rock multiple sassy. stat buffs are a perfect match for multi-weapons and can even come in handy when applied to armor. So please do your best to make use of these. Yeah, they're all the same series though. This time we'll be heading to the new Kavaris region at Crawford's request to find Ilma, a key figure in the completion of the central canon. As mentioned in the previous headline, you will meet new characters like Mary and Kukka along the way. Oh, uh, these will be SG. I can't wait to see how the story unfolds after meeting these two. They'll definitely be available. They'll just be in SG as well. Kavaris is home to an ARC space known as Kavaris Camp, but you won't see as many ARCs as you would in Central due to the extreme cold. It actually is Paimon's voice actor, Instead, by the way. Instead, you'll be welcomed by cold-resistant robots that will greet players at stores and various other locations. You can take on over 50 side tasks at Kavaris Camp. As we expected. Be on the lookout for task-providing characters that are more unique than ever before. EXP earned from these side tasks will be even greater than the previous ones, so oh. make sure to try these out when taking a break from your main tasks to level up your second classes and onward. Okay, so they're making they're buffing them again. I mean, they were pretty big before too. So we're releasing a new Crocodilus Vera Suppression OP Urgent Quest. In this urgent quest, you'll be taking on the boss enemy Crocodilus Vera, who utilizes the huge turret on its back to attack players with a wide range of artillery fire. Hop onto one of the floating boards introduced earlier and head on over to the boss fight. Some of Crocodilus Vera's cannonballs can be thrown back before they explode. Oh, Try that's and cool. take this boss enemy down by swiftly picking them up and aiming for its weak spots. Also, this is coming out on the 8th, by the way. Look at the very top right there where it says Fresh Resolution 6 8. New Battle Dia will be introduced in the Kavaris region. Battle Dia Yellow is ideal for grinding experience, and Battle Dia Purple features a challenging boss run. Both will offer a very rewarding level of difficulty, so go ahead and give them a shot. Also, the Battle Dia Yellow, found in Alio and Retum, will be getting a new rank. Oh? What's more is that we have great news for all arcs who want to level up as efficiently as possible. We have adjusted all Battle Dia yellow specifications so that players will no longer need to worry about reduced EXP when fighting lower level enemies. Now you can play Battle Dia yellow to your heart's content and earn tons of experience regardless of your they level. They said specifically lower level, but they said it was removed beforehand, so that might be a translation thing. Next, we'll be introducing the new field race for you to enjoy in various sectors throughout Alio, Retum, and Kavaris. Anyone can join from a racing console found near certain Ryuker devices and will fight against the clock to collect as many score symbols as possible while passing through three checkpoints. You can play with up to 32 players, so make sure to bring your friends, alliance members, and other arcs. So, Mario Kart. Like, Mario Kart diet. Allow me to introduce some new features and gameplay elements. Yeah, alliance badges, replay story quests, take on alliance tasks. First of all, we have a new feature for okay, all so alliance things. who enjoy teamwork, alliance tasks. Arcs who are in an alliance can receive alliance tasks in also each the treasure shops from coming Tim back. of the alliance activity support. You can get alliance badges as rewards for completing these tasks and exchange them for battle triggers, accessories, and various other items. Join an alliance and get lots of cool loot with your friends as you buff up your characters together. Well, alliance matters again. <laughs> also, a quest counter will be available at the ARC's base in each region. Exclusive quests will be available here in the future, so make sure you stop by. Yeah, we had the fresh finds instead. It's something that existed from JP. Essentially, it's a rotating shop that has some cool stuff in it. You will be able to use a new feature called the ARC's Chronicles to replace story quests and cutscenes here as well. 
イベントシーンをもう一度見返すことができますよ Fresh friends is better in some ways、Treasure、than worse in others. will also be added, where you can purchase battle triggers, photon yep, scales, there, and more. Yep, I was right. This is big. This is huge、Different、right here. Different items will be available in the Meseta and SG treasure shops. And the product lineup will be automatically updated daily. Uh, is the audio off? You can also manually refresh the stock list once a day or twice a day if you are a premium user. Is the audio off for you guys? Additionally, you can even spend SG to refresh it even more times. Check out She's still talking about the previous sure、line、anything. on my end. Next up are some new elements we're adding to character creation. This Odd, includes、okay. a new bearded face option called Imposing Face. Individual cast colors is good. Yeah, I thought there was maybe some decent. You will also be able to change color settings for individual cast parts. Hang on. I want to make sure this is not、Similar、fully d e c e n t Hang on, guys. Apologies. I'm going to reset this really quick. Shouldn't be. Cast parts. There we go. Similar to the color settings for accessories, you can specify color sync settings for each part and create your own unique cast with custom colors. Yeah, this is good. This is definitely a good thing. Also, make sure Please know that after the、good. implementation of this feature, color variants of cast parts will no longer be released in the future. Makes sense. No more CB cast、Let's、parts? Move on to discuss some menu related Unnecessary,、updates. anyway, so that's fine. The first thing I want to mention is that you will be able to hide ornament display on layering wear and other clothing items in the scratch ticket prize list previews. Oh, okay, cool.、Some、outfits look very different when coordinated with or without ornaments. So try out all possibilities from the preview screen with these new detailed settings. Yeah, she's behind. Okay, I thought so. Additionally, you will be able to listen to voice samples in the scratch ticket prize list and personal shop. Listen through and find the voice that best fits your character. We're also adding the ability to enlarge a portion of your screen, which will allow you to magnify parts that can be difficult to see depending on the environment. With another new feature, you'll、yeah. be able to see the players、behind. who are looking for party members in the room. I thought it was、room. me for a second. It's not. There will be options to narrow down your search by objectives to make it easier for players, players for party members in the same room. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, that's good. For future updates, we are also discussing expanding the search range to include not only rooms, but also entire blocks and ships. Very nice. We also have the auto sell feature, which you can use to automatically sell items dropped from enemies. This will be accessible to premium set users and will also be available for purchase using SG. Oh, okay. Wow, all right. Best case scenario. Of this to automatically sell off high value equipment and alpha reactors. So there's a free to play option for it. Okay, cool. As for Mission Pass, you will now be able to collect all rewards for completed tiers in bulk, aside from certain rewards that require you to choose from a selection. That works. The Arcs ID feature will be expanded to allow you to register your character's appearance. Show off your fantastic yeah, character、thing. with your favorite pose and expression. A portion of the lineup from the Spring 2022 Special Scratch will be added to the regular Special Scratch ticket lineup, so this is another chance to get that item you missed. Saving Special Scratch tickets. There are plenty of other improvements also in the works, such as making it possible for players to move around during the region mag animation sequence as shown in the trailer. That's good. As well as being able to insert gathering items while the region mag boost is already in effect. Okay, also good. No, she didn't say cross ship. She said、uh, ship wide, basically. Is a new AC scratch ticket available starting June 8th, featuring clergy combat outfits in sci fi inspired designs. Make sure to check out the new idle, jump, and glide motion change items, as well as the makeup and trick photo pose emotes. I mean, these don't really matter too much to me. Not really a big fan of this, but I mean, there are some people this is their style, so they like this. 
Next up is some information on the updates coming in late June. Oh? Please take a look at this trailer. New enemy in Railroad Gorge. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ray George Gorge. Low temperature. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oh, it freezes you. Ooh, yikes. Also can use food. Okay. Also can get buffer mag. Okay. No more freezy. No more freezy. Good stuff. Ancient enemies, even stronger gigantics. Wait, even stronger versions of gigantics? Oh no. Reform form four. Okay. So re. Uh... Okay, so these are coming back again. I guess I'll have to get the NGS version of this because this is gonna be important. I need its base wear basically. Oh, I need. Oh, that's my new innerwear. <gasps> my new innerwear. Okay, good. I have a new innerwear. Very nice. Very nice. We have a new innerwear chat. Refine ticket four. Good. Good. Okay. Good. New innerwear. Fan service plus. <laughs> Ready greatsword plus. Oh, that's cool. Mm, Idol kind of don't care about. Oh, wow. Model poses. Okay. There's two of them that time. Well, that's cute. That'll be cute for, uh, oh. New level of this. Hang on, let's see. Tactical belt? Oh, shit, the tact belt's coming back. Nice. I actually need to get that. Oh, the dash. The glide's back. Drill Dark Falls Interception, rank two. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, rank two version of Falls is coming in. Okay. Rank two falls already. Nice. Yeah, Ritma said that indeed. Oh, wait, this is four man. <gasps> it's a four man version. Holy shit. Hard mode version. Okay. Hard mode. Hard mode rank two falls. Oh, the a more original creation stuff. Oh, okay. All right. Fingers crossed. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so... Oh, shit. Okay. Well, there's gonna be a lot of Metal Gear Solid cosplays. I don't really care about that one. This is cute. Alright, so Type 2, again, is feasting. Type 1, we're starving. Follies, I suggest you check out the video before mentioning stuff like that, by the way. Because there's more to it. Oh, oh, that shit. Oh, there's a bike. I just saw a bike. Oh, that looks good. Why are there nipples there? That's weird. Well, that's cool. The phrase you're looking for is hopefully no one of the winners get themselves banned. Umbrella move. Okay. Umbrella dash. I mean, I don't care about those. And glad they have all of it. Fair enough. Fair enough. This one I'm not super excited about. Last one was pretty good. This one's kind of meh. Nipples are weird. Noted. Let's take a closer look. So this isn't as hype as the other one. One of the harshest exploration sectors of Kavaris is Rajor Gorge. You'll be able to explore it once the Kavaris update goes live on June 8th. New ancient enemies will appear there after the update on the following week, so get your gear ready to take them on. Why don't we have noted? We'll add it. These enemies are covered in a layer of frost and are extremely strong and can be distinguished by the word ancient in their names. Ancient. You will also hmm. continuously take low temperature damage, making Ouch. it an especially unforgiving area. To counter this, you will want to increase your low temperature damage resistance with boosts from quick food, region mags, 
augments, as well as items that you can get by trading and gathering materials. Make sure you're prepared before setting foot in the bone-chilling Rajord Gorge. We find Form 4 is coming to the SG Scratch Tail oh, cool lineup on June 14th. Even more top-ranked entries from the survey regarding item remakes will be available in NGS specs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good stuff, good stuff. A lot to say before I find Form 4. The stage bonus increases the featured item rate up to double the regular rate. You'll find the Bridal Carry emote in the Scratch Count bonus this time, so make sure to check it out too. It was adjust. I mean, getting frozen is DPS loss. Please note that the SG Scratch Ticket lineup will change at the next update and items from Refined Form 4 will no longer be available afterward. I think that's mistranslation. Are you ready for Mission Pass NGS mean Season 9? Yeah, no anti, this so... This uh, brings a new mag form, Ice Drana, which looks like an ice level. dragon. Yeah, it looks good. You need to deal with that, uh, that low-level stuff. Most mags up until now <laughs> had robot-inspired designs, stuff. but this new one will have a different look, so rack up those tiers. Dargan. Starting June 22nd, the Drill, Dark Falls Interception, Rank 2 trigger quest will be available. This quest will play just like the Urgent Quest Dark Files Interception, but enemy attacks are much stronger and their levels have been raised from 40 to a okay. whopping 60. So, hopefully, the rewards are good. Because they have to have decent rewards for being harder. In addition, the number of participants has been reduced from 8 to 4 and the failure conditions have been changed. Oh, there's failure conditions? Players fail the quest if party members are incapacitated five times or more in total, <laughs> or if the fight takes longer than 20 minutes. Oh, shit, dude. This makes the quest it's even HTPD more all over again. and only the most skilled arcs can hope to succeed. Yo, they said, people said they wanted HTPD You'll back, it's back. You'll be rewarded with various weapon drops upon completing this quest, including color variants. So if you're looking to spice up your armory, this is the challenge for you. You know, I did say HTP wouldn't be back for a while, but I was also fucking wrong, apparently. Also coming on June 22nd is the new AC Scratch Ticket, Original Creations B, which I'll features be honest, the second I'm not batch hyped. of winning entries from the PSO2 9th Anniversary Item Design Contest. I'm not that hyped for this one. Like, I know people are going to like this for the Type 1 outfit, but that's not this me This ticket has all. a bit of something for everyone, including Does outfits, it? accessories, and emotes. Does it truly, though? There are two umbrella-themed motion changes, one for moving and one for gliding. The latter of which is a scratch ticket count bonus prize. Yeah, not really my swag. Mm, that's all of the information on future updates for today. Usually we'd move on to the NGS operation report after this, but since Hiro isn't here, we'll skip it this time. They just showed them. Hiro interviewed the development team and asked them some interesting questions after playtesting go the Paris region. The interview is up on the official site, so okay, make no. sure to check that out too. Let's move on to the next segment. NGS Satellite Information. Let's move on to other news surrounding NGS. We have some exciting things in store for you. Let's get into the first topic. What you got, what you got? Starting June 8th, there will be a campaign to celebrate the release of the Kavaris region. We've got a follow and retweet campaign on our official Twitter where you will have a chance to get your hands on some awesome prizes such as an Amazon gift card. But wait, there's more! Did they really this hit campaign with the will but also wait, have more. limited time login bonuses and pre-announced urgent quests to hit it out of the park. Okay, cool. In addition, there will be a countdown login bonus leading up to the PSO2 10th anniversary campaign in July. I'm sure you all can't wait to hear more information about the campaign. Oh, wait, there's so more. be sure to tune in to the next NGS headline. Yeah, they want the Amazon gift card instead of web money. It's Not game bad. on. Get ready for new NGS campaigns also coming on June 8th. 
Wait, what is this? You can get weapons and armor from the Renesa series when you make it to advice from Liu Lin 2 in chapter 1 of the story. They're streamlining it, the basically? The Renesa series is top of the line among three-star equipment. Plus, compared to a lot of other equipment, the required new meseta and other materials for certain enhancements are relatively low. They're streamlining it. Okay. You will get all weapon types as well as three pieces of armor already enhanced to a certain degree. Yep. This series can be equipped starting from level one, making it perfect for newbies and returning arcs alike. Yep. As well as Shimlining players the upgrade who have experience. just made a brand new character. Streamlining the upgrade experience. Yep. Okay, makes sense. This is good. Also, a limited time task campaign will be available in chapters one and two of the story where players can get massive amounts of VXP. Wait, what? This sounds like a great campaign to raise your battle power. This is a fantastic campaign. Several other balance improvements will be made to the prologue in chapter one. This is a great time to play NGS, whether you are playing for the first time or coming back after a break. Okay, cool. Nice and easy. More details such as how to get rewards will be announced on the website, so please check it out. Now, let's take a look at this video. What's this? Another video, okay. Oh, they're showing off the Kavaris pack, okay. That looks a lot better in motion. Yo, what's up, Kaz? Oh, that's actually a pretty cool jump, yo. Short ski glide, of course. Okay, that was all there was to it? Yeah, that's what I thought. To go with the Kavaris region, brand new DLC will be available in each platform don't call store it DLC. starting June 8th. Don't call it DLC. <laughs> don't, don't call it that. Check out the Silver Peaks Kavaris packs, one for body type 1 and one for body type 2. Don't, don't call it DLC. Get premium sets, some peak fashion, and other super chill items. Be sure to also take a look at the new Alio Town swimsuit renewal packs with refreshed contents and adjusted prices. Oh, they released it and then dropped the price down. Cool. You can still get the same fashion items, motion changes, and stamps, but now you'll also get handy items such as battle triggers and new limit break substitute, limit 50. Oh, that's good. Okay, cool. Note that we'll be discontinuing the current Alio Town swimsuit packs when the renewal packs are released. They mentioned this already, so that's understandable. A campaign with awesome deals for AC and items is coming the same day. Okay, hold off on buying my AC From until the June 8th. June 8th until June 22nd, players who purchase a certain amount of AC will get a Rappi Pendant, a Rappi Ring, boost items such as new EX, EXP, earned plus 50%, and more. Type 1 can finally eat a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. We're not starving too hardcore anymore. Hopefully I can color match that, uh, that necklace so I can have a black Rappi. That'd be dope. And in the SG shop, you can get a special bundle set, including new EXP, earn 24 hour plus 50%. Ooh, that's a pretty good one. You will be able to stack it with the new EX, EXP, earned plus 50%, so I recommend using them together to rack up EXP. We hope that you can enjoy these items together with the Kavaris packs and all the other things that we have introduced to you today. We are celebrating Sonic's 31st birthday with a very special campaign that starts June 16th. Bruh, I'm as old as Sonic. Speed on into the PSO2 blocks to find the annual Sonic Lobby and Super Dimensional Sonic Nyao. Say the keyword in game to get items such as accessories and music discs. Okay, cool. The keyword will be announced on Sonic's birthday, June 23rd, on the official Twitter. So people who didn't get the shoes will get a chance Roll to get them. People to who did birthday bash. will be able to uh, account unlock them. Nice. Here is an announcement regarding the PSO2 10th anniversary project. 
Submissions are now open for the 10th anniversary mosaic project. We want to call on all passionate ARCS defenders to send their best screenshots from PSO2 and NGS. Yeah, someone should send off screenshots from uh, the fashion show for sure. Please post your screenshots on Twitter by 11.59 p.m. on June 30th with the hashtag 10th Anivart underscore PSO2 NGS. So that is Shadow Shoes. Why would you add Shadow Shoes during Sonic's birthday? For Terrible detailed requirements, idea. please see the announcement going live on the official website after this stream. You can submit as many screenshots as you'd like, so share all of your favorites with us. The finished mosaic will be shown as part of the 10th anniversary project at a later date. Oh, that'll be cool. Yeah, City Escape again. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. That's all for this episode of NGS Headline. About the time frame I figured, about 40 minutes. Please share your thoughts on the program and feedback on the game using the hashtag NGS Headline. As the official 10th anniversary ambassador, I want to make this anniversary even more exciting and special. I look forward to celebrating with you all. The next stream will be on Tuesday, June 28th, and I will see you again as the acting MC. Mm -hmm. We'll focus okay. on the July cool. updates as well as share new information about the 10th anniversary project. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, cool. So, ARCs, we'll see you in the next NGS headline. Ah, no English goodbye. No English goodbye, dude. Sag. Oh, are you guys talking about Sonic movies? Yeah, I haven't seen them yet. No spoilers. Okay, okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's uh let's let's see you guys with some of the the quick run back of just words and things of that sort. All right. Uh, so skills is alright. Uh, what they've showed off so far, are pretty cool. Um, Braver got a really, really cool skill. Tekker's new normal attack looks absolutely insane. Uh, Gunner got something they definitely need to get. Estral Arts counter, which is awesome. Um, let's see what else. Uh, they gave <laughs> weak bullet an AOE effect, which is wild. Um, fighter got an extra normal attack on their double saber. That's pretty cool. Uh, double saber definitely needed to get a little bit something. Um, it looks like Foe finally has some form of a blot mechanic to it, so that's dope. Like a brand, which is actually sick. Um, check the parry again. I'm not gonna harp on the parry consistently. It more than likely is just the same block, but now has parry damage on top of it, as it should have done to begin with. Um, but from what I've been able to tell since the last update parry for initial like initial multi-hit attacks actually does work for the duration of the block itself it's just outside of that it does not work so you have to step counter for any extra attacks but that's fine uh not perfect but not the worst thing in the world um let's see what else uh i'm just gonna get my like quick thoughts at the end of the video itself because this is all gonna go up on youtube um what else did i see that was pretty dope uh the new region looks cool um the new dark falls interception rank two is kind of sick that's going to be a four man only and have uh have higher rewards on it the next uh what is it called what is up until now. the next refined form looks dope i'm really excited to see or i'm really excited to get this uh innerware i mean and the base wear, probably all of it honestly i'm excited to get all of it realistically i'm sure the base wear is still gonna have the same problems as other outfits of the same type but i'm really excited to get the innerware for sure um I don't care for the new creator one. The creator B is kind of whatever to me. I know some people are like really excited for it because it has some pretty cool outfits for them, but I think it's kind of lame for uh, for me personally. Uh, let me see what else. I think that's about it. The uh, the new region like cold region stuff is gonna be interesting to see. We're gonna have to find out if it's like if you can compensate with the cold with just food plus uh mag buff then it's not that bad but if you have to move in your augments as well it'll be a little bit more annoying though it's not a bad thing because we're probably going to be getting another slot in our augment for our gear anyway um so it's not like it's a huge difference we'll have to see how that worked out 
it just checked it looked like one parry per pa again i would honestly just chill dude like just just relax it's fine it is completely fine we do not need to hyper break down everything to be upset frame one went into this knowing exactly what we're going to looking into plus i don't think it's nearly enough time to uh to really tell what that's going to be like and something that can be changed so give it a moment um but It'll be interesting to see what the new skills are going to be in uh, in game as well, because usually like they don't just put in new skills. They also do some things with the actual uh, the tree itself. Pretty solid update, pretty solid stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Best case scenario with the new feature. This is kind of funny because it's a little like they didn't mention it here, um, but they mentioned it during this. I got to see if I can. I don't know if I can find it. I'm not going to really scroll through it to find it again, but um, they mentioned it in the interview where there is an auto sell feature. It's great that it's a premium uh, It's a premium bonus. It's even better the fact that you're going to be able to get a hold of it by using SG. So it means there's a free-to-play option or a free-to-play option for it overall as well. Um, but they're also changing the way that drops work. So, like, you're not going to be getting as many drops. It's going to be more Meseta, less, like, tons and tons of chunks of drops all the time. So we're going to be getting only, I think it's, like, five-star and up in the new region. So all those four-star and three-star um, weapons that we get to drop, they're not going to be dropping anymore. The same way we get three-star and two-stars right now along with our four stars and five stars. So that's definitely a good change. I'm actually pretty excited for that. So as useful as the other um, thing is gonna be, it'll be very, very nice. I just saw the damage number. Are you talking about from the uh, the counter or whatever? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be useful and I'm sure it's going to be balanced for it. More than likely you're gonna go for the counter, but you're also gonna step counter 1K, but keep in mind you're also leveling up. We're also getting more gear. We're also getting more damage. So 1K may not be as strong as you think it actually is, but that is still pretty fucking good. So we'll have to see how it works out. Because we can very easily think that it's only one PA that it works for. But they can just change that. They've already changed things like this beforehand in updates and not announced it. So how we had a whole balance patch that we didn't even see coming. <laughs> so I say just wait until it comes out. We'll have to see how it works out. Uh, ideally, it'd be nice if it's more than one PA, but the problem with it being more than one PA is I can just see people spamming it for basically free invincibility. Like there'd have to be like a cooldown that's built into it for more than one PA. And at that point, the cooldown might end up being too long and then it's just not worth it. So. Uh, time to kill. Off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time to kill the Halfia Lake Gigantics. Since they're level 60, that's gonna be super dope. I, I don't want to make this video too long. We're going to go ahead and uh, and end the video portion of the stream here. And I'm not sure if you're still here, if you can go ahead and make a timestamp. But if you're watching over on YouTube, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, guys. You guys are fantastic individuals. I'm going to get that video out as soon as I possibly can. Um, like, enjoy, or like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to keep up with more. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Peace out.